Hi, I'm Storm. And I'm Mike. And we are from Advanced Group. And what are we talking about today, Storm? Uh, female toilet sign. Yep. Um, so, what do we know about this sign? Well, I know that it is for females. Yes. In particular. Exclusively. Um, yes. Not males. No, just female. Yeah. Um, one thing I notice on the sign that I don't recognise or understand what it's there for is the dots underneath the word female. That's a good question. Thanks for asking, Storm. So, the dots at the bottom of this sign, they're raised um, and it's called Braille. So, uh, this is for this, uh, people who are vision impaired to be able to read with their fingers. So, um, a lot of people who are vision impaired can still have a, a small amount of vision as in they can see contrast, the light contrast, so they can see bright shades and dark shades. So if uh, someone who's vision impaired saw this sign, they would know that, um, saw sort of a shape on a door that looks like one of these signs, they would know that they should read it with their fingers. And if they read it with their fingers, they would know that it says female toilet. Now you'll notice with this sign, it, it says female toilet, there's no S, so singular, not plural. This would be one cubicle that would be inside of a bathroom. Um, it could be on an external door that certainly leads to one toilet, but um, you know, uh, sometimes you will have toilets with an S on the external door, and then within each cubicle, then you'll have um, you know separation of uh, different individual toilets and types of toilets. So, um, as uh, Storm said, this is exclusively for females, silver and black. Um, the silver looks um, like a metallic, uh, like a metallic um, look, but it's actually just a texture. And the sign is, um, it's got a double-sided tape pad uh, for the back. Um, <clears throat> So the double side tape is very strong uh, and it's UV, sorry, it's uh, weather stable. So if it got wet, it wouldn't matter um, and it won't come off easily. So uh, normally to install this, I would peel off the backing, stick it onto the sign and then I would um, find out the center of the door, the height above the ground that I would want to install this. And then with the spirit level, I'll get it level and then I'll put some masking tape on the door around the perimeter of the sign just so that when I peel off the backing of, of the double-sided tape then I could stick this onto the door um, and get it right in the first time without having to adjust it because you won't be able to adjust it and if you try to remove it it might peel off the paint of the door so it's best just to make sure it's all nice and level before it, uh, before you stick it on. Uh, this, the sign is... Uh, this one is it looks square to me i think this one may be 180 mil square um now the australian standards have changed over the years so um uh, this one does meet the australian standards um if you have slightly different sign that you're trying to match up you can't find something online uh, on the internet uh, that's going to match what you have that's existing that's probably because it's become obsolete and no longer meets the australian standards so um the thickness of this sign is uh, between five to seven mil thick, depending where you measure it. Um, parts of it are raised. Um, the sign is made of a UV stable polycarbonate plastic, so it's going to be fine in the outdoors. Um, that pretty much wraps it up. So, uh, if you want to buy this sign, you can buy it from www.advancegroup.com.au. And if you like this video and you want to see more about this kind of price, then you can uh, yeah hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Thanks.